What's good with it, YouTube? It's your boy God's Thumbs, and right here we're going up against whatever the hell that guy's name is. But his real name, the name I know him by, is Real Ease. He's a PS3 player, came over to Xbox, wanted to play me, Addy Cards, Master Chappie, all the good ass NCAA players. But right here, once again, I'm running with my Lions, and he went ahead and grabbed the Raiders. It's almost like a rematch versus a Master Chappie in my earlier video. But it's whatever, so let's go ahead and get to it. This game, uh, I went ahead and converted that fourth down right there. And right here, that's just, I don't understand why the computer didn't catch that for me. So once I realized he wasn't going to catch it, I tried to switch over and it was too late. But it is what it is. Uh, I went ahead and converted anyways right after that. Uh, this guy right here, he's, I don't know if he's top 10, top 30, what, on PS3, but he's a top player. Uh, if you guys want, I don't know if I, I'm sure. Oh my God! Right there, I had the touch pass, but the guy passed interfered to Calvin Johnson, so it made me throw it pretty stupid since uh, he didn't get to the sideline, which what I was anticipating him to get to the sideline, but it didn't happen. <clears throat> Excuse me, it didn't happen because he passed interfered me, so the ball ended up going short of where I wanted it to go, and he had a guy right there in a yellow and picked me off. Usually, I don't get picked off right there, but. He went ahead and picked that one right here, fourth and inches. I'm just locking this guy up. Uh, he doesn't convert, so now I'm pissed off that I gave up that one earlier. And right there, I have a drop pass. This guy got a lot of crazy bullshit that happened that shouldn't happen in this game, <clears throat> but it did to keep the game close. But I had a look at this guy. He tried to pick that. He was nowhere near it. You got to get your sticks up there. And right here, he goes off sides, and I go ahead and get a face catch with Titus Young who's not even tall I think he's like 5'9 maybe 5'10 but go ahead and decline that offsides penalty and take the touchdown so I go ahead and take the lead it's the second quarter now I crush him right there on the kickoff doesn't fumble there's don't test my Delmas right there got fucking destroyed right here that should have been a pick I got this guy on lock he doesn't have anywhere to go right here should have been another pick but Silva didn't want to jump it and snag it. he wanted to slap it down whatever get him to punt once again fourth and 12 uh, my ball start running the ball uh, he had just played Addy right there I dot him up in between triple coverage out of that zone but uh, he had just played Addy cards I think he beat Addy I think they played twice I don't know but uh, I know he said he beat Addy cards I don't know if he beat him both times or whatnot he probably did because Addy sucks no I'm just messing with you oh my god look at this I told Stafford to throw that ball inside that's why you saw me moving to the left and then when he throws the damn ball it went to the right and I had no chance in hell to get it because I was anticipating it going to the right which it never did he should have picked it and then I should have caught it but it's whatever so it's still 7-0 second quarter is coming to an end right here I put oh my god he stepped out of bounds what in the hell <laughs> there's a big hit I put the uh, running back this man on I think it was a yellow or something because I was watching the hitch but you know me, with 20 seconds left, I'm bound to get a field goal or a touchdown to my boy. And right here, here we go. Off your hands. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's another save. Just saved his ass right there. Should have been 14-0 going into half. I mean, 14-7, sorry. So go ahead and try it again. Doesn't happen, obviously. This time he's ready for it. But I definitely should have scored on that last one. So it's 7-7 going into half. It's a defensive battle. This guy's uh, trying to st run the ball on me still. He wouldn't have any success, really, running the ball. I mean, right here I get a sack, a coverage sack, because I have everything locked up once again. Right here, another coverage sack. So it's fourth and 20. His ball right at half. He goes ahead and punts it right back to me. But like I said, I had good defense going on this guy. And that's always the tough part when you're playing the top opponent. You don't really know what they're going to come out in. So... I was pretty pretty happy that I was uh, stopping his offense the way I was. And right here I get a first down conversion. Go ahead and hit the hole again. He tried to run to the outside because it was a counter, and I went ahead and cut back in. Right here, throw another dot to Calvin Johnson. Uh, <clears throat> if I had Javid Best right here, I might have been able to hit the corner, but it's not going to happen with, with LaShore. He's not very fast. And right here, he's playing zone again. Go ahead and dot that up, and then I find the hole for a touchdown. So it's 14-7 me. Uh, third quarter right here I should have picked it with my other guy but that's all good Silva picks it that's my man that's why I put him in there he's taller he's faster and he's a beast so if y'all were wondering or asking why I went ahead and have him in that's why and right here I throw a dot to the corner of the end zone because I knew he had the safety in the middle so I threw it to the right side 
and that should have been a strip. But I'm up 21-7, feeling confident, held him to seven points, and right here he gets a, uh, I think it was a busted press that I missed. So he gets down. It's four. It's the fourth quarter now, and now here comes the lockdown D. Once you get into the red zone, it's always tough to play against uh, someone who's got good defense running and passing. So I'm locking that down. It's fourth down and go, and look at this move he puts on me. Oh, my goodness, that was disgusting. Good shit, real. But uh, he tries to goon kick. Almost gets it back, and right here, this is the shit that happened to me and him during this game. I call a counter. It's three minutes left. I'm probably gonna win this game. Most likely, I'm gonna win this game, right? Because you know, uh, my offense is tough to stop. I'm moving the ball on him. I'm stopping him. I call a perfect play. You can see here, and then the game freezes on us, and it, yep, it lags out on us. We have. We have to restart the damn game. I look at it like, what the hell? Seeing if it just froze the whole Xbox or whatnot. It didn't. But it ended up just freezing the game. Right here you can see that. It's so open. That's at least the first down. Connection opponent's been lost. But I went ahead and rematched him. Basically, in my opinion, I was probably going to win that game. I don't know how he feels about it. Maybe he thinks he was going to come back. I don't know. But either way, we went ahead and did the rematch. And this time I wasn't going to mess around with him. Went ahead and grabbed the Panthers. So, let's start. And right here, first play of the game. See ya. D'Lo, House, Skandrick, you're not catching him. You're fast, but you're not that fast. So, I go ahead and go. And then look at this. Right back at your thumbs. Oh, my goodness. What a sick-ass cutback by him. So, it starts off 7-7. Seven, seven. Dude came to play once again. And I'm hitting him with a run. I should have. If that block shot didn't happen, I might have took that one again. In this game right here, I really... Uh, Pounded the rock on him and passed on him. So I was trying to keep it going both ways to keep him off balance. So we'll see how it goes this time. Right here I throw a dot with uh, Cam Newton to Steve Smith. Trying to just dance. And he catches me with, I don't know who that is, probably a fucking D-end or some shit to just trip me up just a hair. And right here I get that, read the draw play, and the CPU breaks the tackle for him. So he goes ahead and gets the first down. And right there it's off his stone hands. So it's third down and three. He tries to hit me with a screen. Not having it. Fourth down and two. The man remembers I have that lockdown D on that run. So he goes ahead and does the smart thing. Doesn't want to give me a short field at his own 28. Or, excuse me, wherever the hell he was. I don't know. He didn't want to give me a short field, basically. So he punted, which was good because I was like, hell yeah. If he punts the ball here, you know, I'm having success moving the ball on him already. And I'm feeling confident that it could get out of control early. But, you know, this man's not going to quit. Really, he ain't going to quit. Dude's a beast. So... Second down and six, I throw a dot to my trail route out of a strong close. Right here, hit the run again. Pick up four yards. Another run play. D'Lo breaking tackles once again. That right here, this play right here ends the first quarter. So I'm up 21-7. So already the game's going uh, more points than our last one. So I'm up 21-7. That one he hit me with an assignment switch, a little asshole. And he scores a touchdown. I couldn't believe I gave up the assignment switch. I seen it coming, but... I mean, I'm the master of strong close, and that's what he did it out of. But I go ahead and score, run another long touchdown on him. That's what he gets for Simon switching on me. <laughs> and we'll showboat, showboat to the end zone. Right there, I tried a big hit, missed it, whatever. And you can see he's moving the ball on me this time. It's 28-14 last game. He had seven points going into the fourth quarter. So he made some adjustments. Uh, he started running a little different offense, too. And right here, Chris Gamble misses the swat. Oh, my God. And Miles Austin go ahead and get a walk-in touchdown. So this game is really close, 28-21. And I throw a dot. I think that was on the slant. Right here, call another run play. Let's get this first down. Take some of the clock away. Here comes another run. Gets eight yards. Right here, he comes off the edge flying, so that was a good user by him. And right here, oh, who are you trying to pick? You pick an air over there. He, forget, he thought I was going to let the trailer all, uh, develop all the way in. But, no, I hit it early. Just because I saw him lurking in the middle. So I went ahead and hit that early. And got a huge game with Greg Olson. Right here I throw a beautiful pass. Look at it. I'm right uh, over the corner. I would have caught that. But Cam Newton decides he wants to overthrow the damn ball. And watch this nasty shit. Oh my god. That was disgusting. Sick ass user man. Really really hard to do. A uh, rocket catch. And that wasn't even an out route. It looked like a damn corner route. But it's whatever. So that was a huge game by him. And right here, I read that, baited him into it, 
and I couldn't get the pick. And right here, Tony Romo just throws a dot. Gamble's pissing me off right about this time. I don't know how the hell he's giving up this shit, but, I mean, he's one of the best corners in the game, and he's getting blown by Miles Austin. So I go ahead and throw up a prayer. It's whatever to end the half. Should have caught it. Don't catch it. It doesn't really matter because I wasn't going to score a touchdown. Anyways, so it is 31-28 me at the end of the half, and I get a big hit right there. No fumbles are happening. Trying to lock down everything. I'm looking. I'm looking. He gets a hold, so now I just don't care. So, of course, I'm going to accept that, and it should be second and 19, unless the holding was somewhere else. So, yeah, second and 19, and another blown fucking press. God damn it, that's embarrassing. Stupid, and then terrible-ass users there, because we're playing on all Madden. There's no defensive assist, so that always makes it harder. Right here, he sends a good blitz on me, sacks me. This game is just, <laughs> right here, touch pass. You forgot who you're playing. You forgot you're playing the touch pass, man. Oh my gosh, that was disgusting. Cam Newton throwing dots. So first down and 10. I'm moving the ball well. And right there, I always complete that, but I threw it too hard. I didn't put enough touch. So that was my fault. She actually should have picked that off, ended the drive, but he didn't. And right here, there it is again. Uh, user catch. Throw the ball to the inside as hard as I can with Cam Newton and switch the receiver and catch it. And that's what I was trying to do with Stafford earlier, but he threw it to the wrong damn side, and it almost cost me. Right here, I'm begging him to go deep. He doesn't do it. Actually plays smart, and I throw a dive right there just a little too early. So he goes ahead and gets four yards off that, and now it's second and six. He tries to hit me deep. I swat that down. I'm not going to give him no no more easy touchdowns. I've had enough of that. And there is a kill shot by Godfrey. He's disgusting. Right here I send the same blitz I hit Chappie with, and it works to perfection on a fourth down. And they try to give him the ball back, but Carolina is not having that. And I pick up a first down on a run, hit the hole once again. Look at the rushing yards, 17 rushes, 260 yards. D'Lo is just doing work, going off on this Cowboys team. Right there I had it open again, but I didn't put enough touch on it once again. There's the trail route, hitting it early because I knew he's lurking the middle. So I go ahead and convert that. There's a touch pass. And right to Jonathan Stewart, I'm shocked he held on to that. Usually when they get the strip on the running back like that, they just drop the damn ball. Oh my god, I had B wide open. He gets a huge stop right there, so sick ass user by him. Another big hit, no fumble. The game is still extremely close, but he throws a pick. Oh my goodness, that's killer. That's deflating. Especially giving me the ball back at the 20. You know I'm going to score on you. The momentum's shifting. And the game's almost over. And here's a touch pass once again. Touchdown. I go ahead and now the game's pretty much over in my eyes. I know he's not going to come back on me with a minute and and something left so right there I try to bait him into throwing to the running back again didn't happen tries to hit me deep doesn't happen got the deep coverage on the right so he goes ahead and throws it to the left I have double coverage on that guy anyways doesn't happen so it's third and ten I read the screen I'm not gonna give up no easy scores anymore I I just said that so it's not happening and right here no sir no sir Call a draw play. Let's let's get this win and get out of here. I asked him if he wanted me to kneel out, whatever, but he said he said no. So we just kept playing it. It's whatever. I tried to kneel. Obviously, you can see he's calling timeouts. And right here, another touchdown on that uh, fullback motion. He didn't have anybody there, so I threw it. So he's still trying to score on me. I get he gets a completion, but the ball falls out. So it's whatever. He didn't get it. Second and ten. Right here, once again, he tries to test me doesn't happen swatted away third and ten tries to get this catch off and he does oh my goodness and right there I send the B gap out of the nickel strong flip that I put on my page showed y'all but I actually brought it from the other side instead of the left I brought it from the right so the game's out of hand already and you can say I'm two and over him or whatnot but remember to comment rate like subscribe once again Xbox dominating on these PS3 boys come see me Peace, y'all. I'm out of here.